Hello, this is Gabriel from TruePixel and in this video I will show you some easy methods for general movement in your workspace involving you as a viewer and the objects you are working with. So, I have created a small scene situation to help us approach these methods. We have already learned that for the simple movement of any object you just need to select it and use the axis for moving the object in the direction you want. But how about if you want to move around the scene and not just the objects you are working with? For that, I will show you different buttons and movement keys and shortcuts to make it more easy. First, we will focus on these small buttons in the top right corner of your workspace. Remember, they only work if you hold them pressed. Also, these buttons are only for your perspective movement related to the scene and not for the objects in the scene. Let's click and hold the first arrow button and move our mouse. This movement is called a panning. If we click and hold the second button, this is the zooming in and out. Click and hold the third button and now we have a round movement. We will be using these a lot, so let's combine all three together and try to reach the entrance of this small room. At first, we rotate then we zoom in and then we pan for a center view. There you go. If it is easier for you to use shortcuts, then we have a different method. These three buttons here you can use in relation to your one, two and three keys on your keyboard. So if we hold the one key on your keyboard, left click and move your mouse. Then we see we have the panning. Let's hold the two key on your keyboard, move the mouse and we have the zooming. And if we hold the three key on your keyboard, we have the rotation movement. Let's now do the same thing using the shortcuts and not the buttons in the right corner. We hold 3, rotate, we hold 2, we zoom, we hold 1, and. And as a third method that I like and use the most, it is only involving the Alt key on your keyboard and all the buttons on your mouse. For me it is better because I don't have to use shortcuts or more than one key on my keyboard. Let's see how it works. Holding the Alt key, left click and move your mouse. We can see a small cross in the center of the viewport. This means the rotation is according to that spot particularly. If we hold Alt and click somewhere else on the object, for example this corner, and we rotate, we can see that we move in relation to that point, then in relation to this point, then in relation to this point. This is very useful when you try to move fast and reach a certain area or point without moving too much. Now, if we hold the Alt key and the right click button, we have the zooming. The same thing applies to the point of clicking. It zooms toward it and from it. You can also zoom in and out just by using your mouse wheel front and back and without using any other key on your keyboard. This is the easiest operation in this software. And the last trick involving the ALT key as a help for your movement is the panning 
by holding the Alt key and holding the mouse wheel button and just moving your mouse. From now on, you can play around and it, by practicing, you will realize which method works best for you. And since we brought shortcuts into discussion, let me show you the quick tips for having shortcuts for the movement controls. If we put the mouse on it, it says the shortcut is E for the movement, E for the scaling, and R for the rotation. You can use them if you prefer shortcuts more. Say E movement R rotation E scaling. Now, please keep in mind that all the methods that we have learned today can be used also in the different viewports of our scene. For example, in the top view, we can pan, zoom. In the front view, we can use the panning, the zooming, and also in the perspective, as we saw before. And now to conclude the movement basics of this video, let us make a small exercise involving this ball and this scene by bringing the ball on top of this tube right here using what we have learned. There you go. And now let's put the ball back into the room by using other viewports than the perspective one. So we click here, we see the four perspectives. We choose a side view. We select the ball, lift it up. Right. Then we go to top view, we check if it's centered. And in this side view, you can zoom in and pan and try to put the ball directly on the floor. And now we are back where we started. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and made you even more curious about more cool stuff to do in Cinema 4D. Please make sure you follow my next video. We'll see what's up.